Welcome to the Eduplex, where education meets Minecraft. We are currently in the integration area that showcases Minecraft projects in education. Today I will show you a Minecraft Pocket Edition project that was part of a 4th grade science unit and was based on the next generation science standards. After the unit, students were able to analyze and interpret data from maps to describe patterns of Earth's features, specifically continental boundaries and volcanoes. The goal of the project was to have students create a continental boundary diagram and a volcano diagram, and ultimately record themselves explaining their creations. Before they started their project, students researched their continental boundaries and volcanoes. I provided them with a Google Slides presentation that contained the objectives of the project, links and videos to grade appropriate resources, and some student work examples. I also provided them with a specific Minecraft seed that contains a hill ideal for a volcano diagram. So here it is, the continental boundaries diagram that I made as a model for my students. As you can see, the diagram is actually a wall of different colored blocks. Each component is labeled with signs. In their diagram, students should have shown the subducting oceanic lithosphere going under the continental lithosphere. The point where the slabs meet is the V-shaped trench. As the subducting oceanic lithosphere goes deeper and deeper into the asthenosphere, it melts into magma, which then rises all the way to the surface because it is less dense than the surrounding rock. If the magma can't find areas where it can go up, they are collected into pools called magma chambers. As more magma rises up below it, the pressure in the chamber increases, then ultimately results in a volcanic eruption. Now for the volcano diagram. At the bottom you can see the magma chamber where the magma continues to rise up the conduit pipe and then to the throat and the vent. The volcanic eruption creates an ash cloud that contains small bits of rock, minerals and volcanic glass. The volcano also contains side vents where lava spews out. I have to give credit to my students who thought up the idea to use actual lava in Minecraft encased in glass, instead of the red wool I proposed, and the idea of using black wool for the ash cloud. Well thank you so much for watching, I hope you will try it yourself at your school. Make sure to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe. Peace!